There's one part of photography that probably isn't talked about anywhere near as much as the rest of it, but it's actually a really interesting part of it, and actually it can be a really crucial part of improving your overall photography, and that's printing your photos. Now, there's lots of different ways to do that, whether you send it off somewhere to get printed. We actually print photos, and I'll pop a link down in the description, but that's not the reason for this video. Canon actually sent me one of their printers to review, and it's a really interesting thing to go through and actually think about, and yes, we'll have the review up probably in the new year, realistically, because I want to do it justice and I really want to kind of try it out and really get my thoughts on the whole thing. But printing your photos as a whole is something that, if I'm honest, fascinates me. I think it's such an interesting, and if I'm totally honest, it's such a cool thing to do. It's such an exciting part of photography, of taking your photos and being able to hold them in your hands. Now, why do I want to make a video about this? Because while I've been kind of playing around with this printer and testing it out and seeing kind of how it performs and all that kind of stuff, one thing has struck me the whole time. I am seeing my photos in a totally different way, just a completely different light, actually holding them in my hands. I'm seeing different parts of the photo that I hadn't really focused in on when I look at them either on my computer or on my phone. I'm actually taking in the photo as a whole. The actual process of mounting it into a frame, putting it on the wall, thinking about the light hitting the photo, where the viewer is going to stand when they're viewing the photo, and everything to do with things we talked about in previous tutorials, about having an anchor point in the photo for the viewer's eye to rest on. It all means so much more when the photo is hanging on the wall or when I'm holding it in my hands. Now, I've been using the Canon A2 printer, which again, I'll pop a link to all this stuff down in the description so you can go check that out. And it really is quite a sight to see your photos coming out of that. Nice and big and just looking so lovely. There just is something different about seeing it on paper. And I think that realistically, it's an important part of the photographic journey. It's something that I think is especially exciting when you're actually printing your photos at home on your printer. I think that's really awesome. But even if you get your photos sent off and sent back and or you pop into store or do it, something like that, it's such an important part because it makes you see your photos differently. It makes you think about them differently when you go to edit them, even when you're taking the photo. It can really inform your choice of composition. I have a photo on my wall, actually just to the left of the camera there, which is one of my favorite photos that I've taken, but it wasn't one of my favorite photos until I had it mounted big on the walls, on a big canvas. It sits on a blue wall, and it just is the focal point of that whole area of the room. And I really, I really like that. And it makes me look at that photo in a really different way. The color grade on it is very kind of, you know, it's a little bit orange. And then there's some blue because it's sunset, but there's the ocean. The ocean was looking particularly blue that day. It just suits that wall perfectly. And that's something you only get by, by printing your photos off. And it makes me think about how I want to take photos going forward. It makes me think about the composition. For example, I'll show you the photo on screen so you can see it. The way that the, the hills and the cliffs don't overlap with the horizon is really important to me because it looks particularly good when it's printed really big on a wall. The way that the sunlight kind of fades into the photo looks fantastic once it's on a canvas. Small details like being able to just about make out the actual gap in the arch at Durdledor is important in the photo and something I could have missed if it was just on the computer or just on my phone because it wouldn't have mattered nearly as much. Lots of little details really come out when you print your work. And that really matters because it means you're gonna think about those little details next time you go take photos, next time you're editing photos. And even if you don't then print those photos, they'll be better, you'll be better, and everything will have improved. What do you think? Have you printed your photos? Is that something you like to do? Do you have your own reasons for doing it that we haven't covered here? Do you think it's an important part of the photographic journey? I really feel like it's a big part of the photographic journey that probably doesn't get talked about enough, probably isn't focused in on enough, because it's so easy, and I must admit, I'm guilty of this, to not print your work to just have it on the computer, pop it on Instagram, pop it wherever else. You know, it's so easy to just not do it these days, but it's such a different feeling. Of course, there's links in the description to the Canon printer that I will be reviewing in the coming weeks down in the description. Spoilers, I'm having a really, really good time with it so far. But we'll have a full review later on, so don't worry about that. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video as well, because we've got new videos all the time. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, as always, 
Thanks for watching.